In Ontario, the standard real estate agent commission is 5% of the property sale price plus HST. Most of us know and understand this, but I wanted to do this video for a while now, and I hope not only does every real estate agent and broker in Ontario watch it, but hopefully as many consumers as possible as well. This video is more or less your value as a real estate agent versus lowering the commission you charge to sell a property. And to do so, let's build a bit of a scenario. The people that watch my channel are awesome, meaning that you as a real estate agent or broker have a goal or a mission. And your goal or mission is either to help your buyer clients find the best property that suits their needs or to market and promote their property to get the best possible views and most attention from the right people to get max value for their property. So you have this goal or mission. It drives you every day and it's clearly visible to the clients that you provide amazing service to. So in an established market where the standard commission rate is 5% plus HS, 2.5% for the listing agent and 2.5% for the cooperating agent. This leaves room for the listing agent for expensive marketing to promote the property. And the cooperating agent has room for the time put in searching and showing properties as well as exciting closing gifts. This in my opinion is the best model to exist for the industry. Okay, so now it's not that easy, right? We have a group of real estate agents and brokers that need unique selling propositions to acquire acquire and attract clients. So this can go one of two ways. One is you make yourself and the services you provide more valuable for your clients. You have that passion. You want to grow a quality business. Just a few ways that you can make that happen. You could take marketing and digital marketing courses and training for yourself to make yourself more valuable to understand how to market properties well, which will in turn generate more traffic, more eyes to your client's property and get the best value for the their home. You could take staging or even interior design courses on how to transform your client's properties to appeal to buyers and get top dollar for their home. You could take specific ad copy writing courses and trainings to learn the fine details and consumer marketing strategies to write amazing descriptions that romanticize and touch on all attractive features and points of your client's property. You could educate yourself on photography and videography to understand lighting and movement so you have amazing photos and videos that showcase a property beautifully. You could even take presentation and public speaking courses on how to do listing appointments like a champion and be able to present and articulate your skills and unique selling strategies to getting the most exposure for your client's property. And if you find your services are best spent communicating and organizing with your clients, you can align yourself with interview, outsource, and pay for the best in the industry that specialize in each one of these value pieces for your clients. That's just a few of hundreds of ways that you can make yourself more valuable to your clients. Or, and you know where I'm going with this, you can lower your prices. Your unique selling proposition could be, we are cheap. This now, in my opinion, is not just bad business in general, as your selling proposition is that you're cheap it's also bad for long-term growth and the industry as a whole. What can happen here, obviously, is the next real estate agent or broker that shares your same approach to generating business and has a bit of a short-sighted view of the industry and maybe lacks that passion to grow a business says we are actually cheaper. Then two more brokers that think this is a great idea say no, we're cheaper and so on. If your unique selling proposition, even if you say we are cheap but we are good, your perceived value in the industry is now that you're a cheap service. The psychology of expensive for good quality or cheap for bad quality does exist. I know everyone loves a deal and it's great and it feels good to think that you got a deal, but if I go to the store and I buy a cheap pair of shoes, that's exactly what they are. These shoes are going to last months. If I buy a good pair, they're going to last years or even a lifetime. In the service industry, we are not selling a product, obviously, but the psychology of reasonable or expensive for good quality versus cheap for poor quality still exists. Am I willing to pay a higher bill at a five-star restaurant that has poor service? Of course not. Am I willing to pay a higher bill at a five-star restaurant that has amazing service? Absolutely, and I will return to it and recommend it. I know everyone is different and you're only gonna work with clients that you like and that are like-minded as yourself. But if I was a consumer and someone's value to me was that they are cheap, well, in my mind, they aren't willing to gain the knowledge or learn the skills 
needed to sell my property for max value. In my opinion, it's both bad for yourself and the consumer and bad all around for the longevity of the industry. I know this is a bit of a polarizing subject, but I do suggest have a passion for what you're building here. You're building an amazing client service business. Make yourself more valuable with the skills you possess or learn. Marketing, digital marketing, staging, interior design, photography, videography, ad copywriting and creative design, communication and organization skills, presentation skills. There are so many ways to help your clients and be quality over cheap. Being the cheapest is a race to the bottom of the industry and it'll affect not only everyone, but of course the value of your client's property as well. Let's keep the real estate industry strong. I encourage you to have the same passion that I have for it. It's way more fun to build something quality. I'm in this real estate industry for life. I absolutely love it and I want it to thrive. 5%, 2.5% for the listing agent, 2.5% for the cooperating agent is a beautiful balanced industry. If you share my passion, share this video with someone if you think they can find value in it. Thanks for watching. My name is Callum Moore, eXp Realty real estate agent here in Ontario, and we'll see you in the next one.